So Embed is a platform for developing embedded applications. So the actual platform encompasses various parts. We have our Embed compatible microcontroller development boards. So you can buy these from a range of companies. And then there's also a cloud-based IDE or integrated development environment. So you'd log into this cloud-based, essentially the website, and you can write the code in the com um, you, you write the code in the browser rather than a text editor on your computer. And it also has got a collection of APIs, what we call them, or application programming interfaces and libraries for interfacing with peripherals and hardware. So rather than us having to kind of write all the code, there's various library libraries that we can use for doing so. And it's also got an online compiler. So when you write your code, you know, you're not running a local compiler on your machine. The compiler's installed on some server somewhere. So you, the code you write and the online ID gets compiled online. And then essentially the kind of final binary file, if you will, gets downloaded to your computer. So looking at development boards. So a development board is basically a device that contains a microcontroller. So in this example here, this is the actual microcontroller. But you can imagine it's quite hard to interact directly with the microcontroller. You can't just connect it up. You need to have it on a various circuitry. So this development board will contain the circuitry it needs to get the device up and running. So it looks like there's um, a crystal here, some uh, regulators for power, USB um, input. There's also some circuits underneath. So it makes it much, you know, using a development board makes it easier to prototype with. So there's dozens of different embed enabled products from different vendors. So in this course, we're going to be looking at this NXP LPC 1768 board. So this is a microcontroller made by NXP LPC 1768. And inside of this, there's an ARM Cortex M3 core. Uh, so this this microcontroller contains this 32-bit ARM Cortex M3 core. It's got 96 megahertz clock speed, so it's you know it's quite sl slow, if you will, compared to a desktop PC. But it's actually quite fast for a microcontroller development board. Half a megabyte of flash memory again is not much compared to the kind of say hundreds of gigabytes or terabytes you can get now on a desktop PC but again it's you know quite good for a, a embedded board and also 32 kilobytes of RAM which is obviously very very small compared to the gigabytes of RAM you get on the PC but again it's good enough mostly for embedded applications and it contains lots of different peripherals so these are the input and output pins clocks serial ports analog to digital converters digital to analog converters PWM Ethernet USB CAM and so on so you can see this this diagram here shows the different peripherals. So it's on this convenient breadboard package. So you can get the actual kind of circuit board here and you can slot it into a breadboard. And then this, you know, this each pin has got a different function. Some pins have multiple functions. So the blue ones you can make as a GPIO. So you could, for this pin here, you could connect it up to an LED and a resistor. So, on. so you could make that LED blink very easily. So we're not an ID or text file and compiler things are normally installed on a PC. So you know one commercial one available is um Keel Microvision. You know, that's often used for developing uh, embedded systems based on ARM. So if, if, with these kind of say locally installed IDs, you write the code on the PC, you compile it into the machine code of the target processor. So this machine code contains these raw binary instructions we've seen before. We often call it now actually firmware. And that's contained in this binary or hex file. But then somehow we need to get this file from the PC. So this is going to be on your kind of desktop um, computer or your laptop or whatever. But we need to get that file into the flash memory of the microcontroller. 
So we often do that using a separate device. What's this the kind of external flash programmer? So that then this program will be connected to your PC via USB. So on your computer here, you'll have your kind of dot bin file or your kind of binary file. And then the the programmer then essentially connects up to these certain pins here are used to interface with the actual memory inside. So that bin file using the programmer you can get a bin file from the computer into the actual memory inside here so that that will be copied using the program and actually be able to get the kind of raw binary zeros inside the microcontroller memory. So we normally do that using this kind of external programmer device but embed doesn't do that it's actually a bit easier. So you know embed is actually pretty unique in the fact that it's cloud based so the compiler and the IDE are online and they access them through a web browser, you just need to make an account and you can log in. You can start writing code uh, in the browser. And when you've done it, you compile it, it actually com gets compiled on the embed servers and this binary file then is downloaded to your PC. And then obviously we still need to get this file in from the PC into the memory. But the development boards contain an embed interface chip that enables the board to connect to the PC via USB basically appears a mass storage device so it appears like a USB stick and it actually allows us to do drag and drop programming so it's very very easy but it's important to realize that you know that it's so when you plug an embed into your PC it'll pop up as a kind of USB mass storage device but you need to realize that is not the internal flash memory of the mass control on the board the actual development board actually contains a separate flash memory chip and we first copy our bin file or our firmware into this memory, into this two megabyte memory. And it's only when you reset the embed, this embed interface chip copies the firmware into the actual flash memory inside the microcontroller. We can also use this two megabyte flash memory. We can always use it for storing text files and things. So if you want to do a data logging application, every so often you might want to read the temperature or so, so on. And you can write it to a text file in this memory. So just to summarize this process, you've got your laptop or computer. So it does mean you don't have to worry about any having any tools installed. You can work on any computer. You log in to the embed website, the server. You write your code in the IDE. Then you'll compile your code. And that then will download. The compilation will actually take place in the cloud. And you'll actually download your .bin file. So at that point, you plug your microcontroller development board into the USB port on your laptop. So on this on this um, board, there's this two megabytes of flash memory. Because remember, so when you you can essentially drag drag and drop, like as you would drag and drop files between your USB sticks, you could just drag the dot bin file into that flash memory. Now, when you press reset, so now your bin file will be in here. This is, you know, that, that bin file has got the kind of, again, all the ones and zeros. And, and then when you press reset, this will then be copied into the actual internal flash. So it's only at that point you need to copy the file on, press reset, it will copy the code into here. But then now the Mac controller can start executing these instructions. So it will start, now it's powered up, it will execute this instruction. And execute in next instruction and so on. So that just highlights this kind of development process for using the embed uh, platform.